Hey, what's up, guys? Far Gaming back here today with another Skyrim remastered video. Yeah, if I haven't seen them already, I posted two of them. One being the White Run Secret Chest glitch. Now today, we're gonna go over that. So first of all, I want to get this out of the way. I'm sorry for that video, for the reasons of it showed a harder method to get outside than what what I could have shown, which is what I'm gonna show today. By the way, it's a very easier way out instead of that show at the barrel because that does take a couple tries sometimes if you're not used to it and then two there was no explanation at all there was just me running around looking at it and then yeah my reason for that though is because it was rushed i wanted like scaram just came out i wanted some videos on it but yeah anyways whatever disregarding that let's get in today's video today's video we're updating this I'm going to show you guys how to actually do it step by step. So yeah, let's go through it now. Step one is obviously be in white run. And now I'll just follow the path I take from the blacksmith. Alright, now that we're here, this is our destination. We're just gonna go here. In this corner, you can just squeeze through and voila, you're under the map. Now, once again, I'm gonna shut up, just follow where I go. If you guys want, you can obviously skip ahead in the video now. Um, this next part is going to be me running to the location, but I'd rather not you skip it. That way you know the way to this location. But basically what you want to do is just run along the wall and keep running until we come at a certain spot, which I'll tell you when we're there. Ah, uh, that was tricky. Okay. Just going to keep going. Just follow the wall. Until we reach here, we're gonna go past this little tower over here. So let's go. We gotta basically get right next to Dragon's Reach. And that's our way up right there. Sorry about everything here, guys. Slow stamina and all that. This is a new character I've made. So, yeah. Arguably. Obviously completely new considering I have other characters which are way better. Alright. Now we're here. Obviously, even though you're in the right spot, you can see smoke from the Sky Forge, and you're right here next to the Dragon's Reach place. And also this big patch of nothing. Which all you have to do now is walk over to this side. Come up here, this corner, and just walk through the rocks. There we go. Now here is the glitch. This is the the main money and weapons and whatever you want you can do with this like like i said you can get gold out of it whatever so this is basically let me explain real quick the sky forge obviously the merchant here i don't know his name i'm very i apologize i'm very sorry for not knowing his name <laughs> but he's usually in this area like 24 7 usually and this is his chest this is what he sells so let's look real quick here's all his stuff now, he will not always have 10,000 gold. This is just a mod I've installed. He will usually probably have around 1,000 gold though. So that's still a good price I'd say for you guys out there who are new. And yes, everyone, this does work on Xbox. This does work on PC. I'm, I'm gonna say that now and get out of the way. But what you wanna do is take whatever you want. I'm gonna take it all. You can do whatever you want with it. And then, yeah, if you're done, then I'll show you a way out when I'm done real quick in this video. But for the people who still want more out of this chest, who still want more, because you don't want to have to go through this glitch every single time he resets his inventory. To reset his inventory, come to the grindstone in this corner over here, below it. Now wait, 24 hours. Now this is where I highly suggest to skip forward in the video. And then 
Once this is over, though, we are going to have to skip, or not skip, I'm sorry, wait another 24 hours, adding up to 40 hours, which is two days in Skyrim, so, and obviously 40 hours, two days normally, whatever. Two days, that is me back. Now he is obviously not here, though. Once you wait t both 24 hours, all you do now is just get to daytime or some and just get him on this grindstone oh yeah hold on and i'm gonna note now if he's like how he was there if he's walking around and you're trying to get him on the grindstone it's not gonna happen you have to wait until he does an animation or if he starts walking away wait more hours now i'm gonna start waiting and waiting and waiting until he finally comes back Okay, he's still. Oh, yeah, you see, this is what I mean. He's gonna spawn there, and if he's not. If he's not the animation yet for the Skyforge, you don't want to wait more. That will just keep him stuck there. You want to wait till he starts this animation with the Skyforge, then wait. I suggest maybe just an hour or so. Yep. Then he'll usually get off of it and move to this grindstone, so you can reset his inventory. How to reset his inventory? Once he gets on the grindstone, all you have to do is wait press triangle and i believe it's y on xbox to jump and then try to spam x on here playstation a on xbox one and sorry i don't know pc controls then you ask him what have you got for sale God be praised. and you don't even do anything else you just back out immediately go back to the chest and there you go he has a bunch more stuff so yeah, that's basically it, guys. You can do this as many times as you want. Just make sure you wait those 40 out. Wow, that sucked. <laughs> I'm so sorry for that. That's embarrassing. Wait those 48 hours. And then, let me show you how to get out. Nice and easy. That way, you don't have to, like, restart your game or whatever what you think to get out of this. All you have to do is walk down this path towards these stairs. Run at them. And you'll glitch back in the map. Fine. Nice and safe. Nothing's changed except your inventory because you now have all kinds of new stuff that you've looted from him. You've also got your gold. Remember, you can do that as many times as you want. And you can use it for whatever you want. Maybe you want to sell the weapons and stuff he has for more gold. Maybe you want to keep them because you think they're good and they're going to be good in battle. And I'll mention now, that is a good idea because the more you progress within your skill levels and blacksmith and weapons, that will... Like, he'll progress with Wait, you, as in, if you get able to maybe create some elven swords or armory, that will spawn in that chest in his inventory. But yes, that's all I have for you guys today, so, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have fun exploiting. <laughs> and just keep on doing it, just go for it, man. Thank you, see you in the next video. I have a tail. I'm awesome.